At this moment of thanksgiving, His Majesty the King speaks to his peoples and his fighting forces throughout the world. Well, what an afternoon we've had. These two have never seen so many treats. We've just got back from the recreation grounds. Whole town was there. Must have been thousands of people. And there were pony rides and a brass band. My Lily here was dancing away. More food than we've seen in months. There were jam tarts and sweets and oranges. But these are my Harry's favourites. My friend Dolly works in the fields. She gives us a little extra something when she can. We've all got to look out for each other. Still haven't heard from my Billy. I expect he's off celebrating with the lads, wherever he is. <laughs> well, let's get these two off to bed. It's been a busy old day and we we're all shattered. The party was still going strong when I left. There'll be no blackout tonight. Lights will be on and people will be singing their hearts out. <laughs> Hope I can see the fireworks later. Uh-oh. Come home soon, Daddy. Uh-oh. All day yesterday there were rumours in every street corner about the imminent end of war. But it wasn't until the one o'clock radio announcement that we heard. Germany had surrendered. And by three o'clock, it was official. War in Europe was over. Some people started to bring out decorations from their homes. Uh, things that they'd had from the coronation of King George VI. People were putting fairy lights up over the front of their houses in the shape of Thief Victory. People were even painting the front of shop windows. Church bells had started to ring out in celebration. Peals and peals of celebration. They went on into the evening, late into the night. Well, the announcement's been made. We are done. Everyone is on fire with noise and celebration and colour. Everyone in the road is putting up decorations. Every single house, every single shop, every single window is just full of activity. Well, it's easier to look through the windows now because all the curtains have been pulled down for their cord for, 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 to make bunting. I mean, oh, we did it. We actually did it. Oh, I mean, I've, I mean, I've got to open the shop to early tomorrow. Everyone's going to be going through their rations. Yeah. And be burning through those, and and of course it's not just me. The churches, they're straight on to it. They're they're preparing for next Tuesday to have proper proper Thanksgiving, proper Thanksgiving. Oh, the pubs, they're going to be open till eleven. Thank God. <laughs> going to be a couple of people celebrating a bit tonight. I might even. I've got some. Yes, yes, I've got some. Uh, some uh, yeah, decoration from the coronation. Right. Decoration of the coronation. I can put up some of those, and I've been putting aside some uh, some spirits, you know, because uh, well, just in case. Uh, some ch I think I've got some chocolate hidden away somewhere. Oh, right. This is going to be amazing. Well done, everyone. Oh, we did it. We actually did it. We didn't want to get the children's hopes up before the news was official, but you know what they're like. They were running around trying to decorate, getting each other riled up. And when the announcement came that war was over, we just hugged and cried and cheered for what seemed like hours. My heart is so swollen with love. I feel like I could pop. Some of these children haven't seen their families for years and years. Excited doesn't even cover it. The first thing I noticed was the explosion of noise from town. Uh, laughter and bells and clapping and singing. All of the rules and caution we have followed for the past six years just torn up and tossed out in one moment. This really is history. Polly and I are heading to the wreck for a party and to listen to the military band. We got to know them when we used to snoop around trying to meet the Canadian troops when they stopped by. <laughs> Boy, were they a lot of fun. In fact, I'm hoping to see some familiar faces and maybe get a dance with a certain special soldier. <laughs> and this time I'm dressed in my best. Although this has been mended and darned more times than you can imagine. Well, I think it'll be a while before we can stop rationing. Though I'm used to make do amend, I think it'll be a long time before I want to buy anything new. <laughs> and at least I can spruce up for tonight. Uh, my sister's friend Dolly taught me how to do my hair like this. Isn't it fun? 
I'm hoping with all the jubilation and celebration this evening that perhaps I'll get a lot of attention from a certain charming and handsome soldier. Oh, hello. You just got me getting ready for the street party. I'm so excited about the news. I'm absolutely fit to burst. What, you haven't heard? The war, it's over. They just announced it at three o'clock on the wireless. Where have you been? Of course, the rumours started going around yesterday and mother's been up all night taking the curtains down to make bunting. But we're just all so excited. Oh. I'll tell you, I've been saving a pair of nylons for the occasion. <laughs> so, no gravy browning for my legs today. Oh, that's probably a good job. I've nearly run out of eyeliner. But I've become quite the dab hand at drawing on the seams. I could probably do it with my eyes closed now. I shall wear my rolls with pride today. You know, we started wearing our hair like this just to keep it out of our face in the field, but uh, it's become something of a fashion. I quite like it now. I'd normally wear a scarf to cover the rest, but today I shall let my curls loose. Hmm, some mascara, I think. To get my water. Oh, I hope this means Johnny's coming home. Ah, oh, that will be so exciting. I tell you, I've kept and read and reread his letters. I've treasured them. <sighs> the day that he comes home, our life can carry on. We'll be able to get a home of our own, finally. There. Much better. What do you think? Wide eyes. No tears today. Now, I think it's a lipstick occasion and I have the perfect shade. I tell you, I'm going to dance all night. I've been waiting far too long for this celebration. There. What do you think? <laughs> I tell you, if you do see Johnny on your travels, maybe you could give him this. Tell him I've been waiting for him. I'll see you out there. But at this hour, when the dreadful shadow of war has passed far from our harbors and homes in these islands, we may at last make one pause for thanksgiving and then turn our thoughts to the tasks all over the world which peace in Europe brings with it. <laughs>